Hey loves and welcome back to my channel. It's Dr. Jack of All Trades. You guys, it has been a minute and I am trying to cram in the second half of April into one vlog. And you know what, I'm gonna do it. This is a long one. So go and get your coffee, your tea, your wine, your lunch, your dinner, whatever, and sit back and relax and enjoy. I'm starting off the video with um, uh, a makeup look I did on uh, just before Easter. I think this was Good Friday. Y'all, I had started coming down with um, some sort of a sinus infection or allergy flare up or something. It was cold and dreary on this day. And y'all, I said, let me just do a little makeup look to make myself feel better. And you know what? It really did work. The hair I have on is my finger comber wig. Um, I'll link the vlog where I talked about these wigs previously. Y'all, these wigs are bum, okay? Aside from the fact that where they have the little curls, there's some sort of white buildup. Other than that, the wig is the bomb. I'm telling you, it looks so much like my hair. But anyway, back to this makeup look. Just get into the makeup look. All the um, um, products will be listed in the description box. Everything that I use will be listed there. And I'll even talk about this eye cream a little later on in the vlog. But yeah, um, everything is listed in the description box. Um, it's nothing that I haven't done before. Pretty much the same thing. But I just thought I did um, a good job this on this particular day and I'd share this look with you. All right, guys. And while you're here, if you would do me a super, super big favor, I'd certainly appreciate it. If you would just like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. I would be so, so, so happy. I thank you so much, you guys, for those who have already subscribed, who watch, who comment. You guys are the best. I appreciate you. And I'll be putting out more um, great vlog content over the coming weeks and months. So guys, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Do that for your girl. Do it for your girl. <laughs> hold to me and I had to put on some makeup and make myself feel better and I wasn't going anywhere absolutely nowhere I think I went to the kitchen and uh, cooked dinner that's all I did <laughs> but yeah so guys I hope you enjoy this vlog stay tuned all right well good morning how are you guys doing hey y'all it is It is uh, April the 18th, Easter Monday here in the South. And I am fighting allergies. Uh, you know, they have gotten me seasonal allergies, the pollen. It has gotten me down. I haven't been stricken since um, pre-pandemic because, you know, during the pandemic, I wasn't out much. We were not outside. And... Plus, I was loading up on vitamin D and vitamin C at that time. 
I have been lax in taking that. So I'm headed to the store right now to get vitamin C, vitamin D, Claritin, um, and some other things, um, get back on my healthy uh, kick. That's one thing I've learned is that if I am not working out, not staying healthy, not doing those such sorts of things, I am susceptible to, you know, the crud, as I affectionately call it. Look at my eyes, y'all. They are so puffy. From, um, they just look really, you know, you can really tell from the, um, from allergies, y'all. It's, it's something. It is really, really something. I, um, did a test because, you know, we just can never be too careful. Of course, it was negative. I knew it was allergies because I could tell when they were coming on. My ears started itching. Y'all know that. That itchiness that you get. So my ears were itching. Then my eyes and my nose. Uh, it has just been, oh my God. Allergies are the worst. And it, it just makes you feel really bad on top of the itching, the scratchy throat. I think I kind of want a medicine ball. Or I could make my own medicine ball. I think that's what I will do. Make my own medicine ball because I have the ingredients at home. I just need to get some peppermint. But, uh, you guys, welcome spring. And it's cold today. It's cold today. It was warm and sunny. Well, no, not sunny. It was warm pretty much all weekend but it was rainy it was dreary Saturday we had a little bit of sun Friday we got just a little bit but it stormed uh, if I sound super nasally I'm really sorry but you guys the allergies my eyes are not as red as they were they're not as watery as they were not as puffy as they were but they are still doing the most. I'm gonna do some work today, do my nails. I'm gonna record a video, a little chit chat video. I need to finish grading uh, some comprehensive exams, graduate exams. And um, send out some feedback, upload some grades, and that's it because this is officially, officially, the last week of classes for the um, spring semester, which is cool. It's 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 really that's okay with me. Hey, we can shut this thing, wrap it on up, and shut it on down. But um, yeah, so we have eight more days of school, and actually, I'm just looking. There's cops and stuff. But yeah, so we're going to be shutting it down. I'm off the first summer session, which is amazing. I need that month off. I'm going to be doing something else with that time. But at least I don't have to worry about students, which is amazing. So, yeah. All right. All right, guys. Let me get on to the store. I will be talking with y'all a little bit later. Hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll check back in a little bit. This is So ice Ligero and the allergies are still doing a number on me. Look at my eyes. 
But, you know, it's okay. I am okay with that. What y'all got going on today? I am working from home today. And uh, as a matter of fact, I'm about to get started in just a few moments. I'm going to make me some tea as well. Make my own medicine ball. Let me show you what I use to make my, my version of a, a medicine ball, a Starbucks medicine ball in my pantry here. So I use um, three different teas and I use lemon slices, fresh lemon slices, and I use just a small, small, tiny like spot, like a splash of, of uh, syrup. So the teas that I use are the Yogi Peach Detox. I also use the Celestial Seasonings Country Peach Passion. And I use Peppermint Tea, Bigelow. Peppermint Tea. And for the citrus, I use lemon. So that is my my version of the um, medicine ball. And for sweetener, I'll either use a little bit of peppermint syrup if I have it. And since I don't have it, I have just some plain cane sugar uh, syrup, uh, Tarani cane sugar syrup. And I use just a splash, not even, it may be a teaspoon, maybe, not even that. And I heat up my water in my cute little, my cute little kettle that I got uh, last year uh, from Amazon. I did a little unboxing on that, so I'll link it if it's still available down below. So I'm gonna also have tea in addition to my coffee. <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh, y'all, I have not been to the gym in a few days because of this, um, this crud that I got going on. It's really making me feel terrible. Um, I did a test, as I said, it was negative. But what I've been taking, I hadn't been taking my Claritin, which I normally take every day. I don't know what I was thinking, you know, during this time of the year when pollen is really high. So I had to go back and get it. And I've been using the Equate brand. I've been using the Equate brand of Claritin um, to help with that. And I've been, you know, really being very, very um, conscientious about taking my vitamins, my vitamin D, my um, immune support um medicine uh vitamins and supplements oh and let me tell you y'all um although my eyes are dark <laughs> under there which is okay that'll get better once this sinus this allergy business goes away but what i have been doing uh at night is using my um should say shush it's hard to talk with these retainers on during my shiseido um eye cream and the night emulsion or the nighttime emulsifying. I, I can't think of what it's called. But anyway, let me just get it because y'all need to know what I'm talking about. But it, it is so good. I wake up in the morning and my skin feels so moisturized. It like really, really keeps my skin moisturized during the night. So it is great. So what I use whoa, for my face is the... Shiseido Beneficence Regal Resist 24 Night Emulsion uh, Cream. So that's this one. I don't know if you guys can see it. So that's this one. I love it. And for my under eye, I use the um, Shiseido Beneficence Regal Resist 24 um, Eye Cream. So I don't know. You can see it. But anyway, that's what I use. And it has my skin so supple and moisturized all throughout the night. And I also use my Tom Ford Lip Balm, which is really good for my lips. I love that. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so that's what, what I have going on. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. This is one of my finger comber wigs. I love it. I just have my hair pulled up 
Let's see if you can see. Um, if I take this off, you can see. It's, it's not even, you know, there. You can see, so I just have my hair pulled back into a ponytail. Look at my gray friends. <laughs> so I have it just pulled back into a ponytail. And uh, that's pretty much it. And then I just, you know, put this headband on because I thought it was cute. And it matched. <sighs> yes, when I work from home, I get up and I get dressed. I get fully dressed <laughs> because, you know, it makes me remember that I am at work. And it makes me remember to end the day, you know, because if I have on my, you know, just night clothes or whatever, I may, um, you know, work all day and, and, and into the night. And I don't want it to become living at work. I want it to be uh, working from home, <laughs> oh, you know. So, yeah. All right, guys. Hope y'all have a wonderful day. Hope your day is blessed and you all enjoy. I will check back in. I'll check back in in a little bit. Y'all take care. So guys, I don't know what happened to my footage for my unboxing for my birthday gifts. But So I'm going to quickly go ahead and show you some of the things that I got for my birthday. I got a pair of Fendi slides. Um, I think you saw, if you watch my birthday vlog, you saw me in the Fendi boutique um, trying on a uh, poncho. A poncho that I had been wanting forever. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I got these Fendi slides. I love these. They are gorgeous. I've actually worn them now. Um, because I don't know what happened to the footage, but I got these, um, Fendi slides. So that's one of the items. And I did go ahead and get the Fendi, um, poncho. Let me try to unzip it so you can see it. Hold on a second. So I did get it. You'll see this in the fall. <laughs> You'll see it more in the fall because it is, um, you know, you saw me trying on and everything at the boutique. So that's that. It's very thick. It's very heavy. So I will not be wearing it. Um, probably won't get to wear it before um, the end of spring because it's kind of warm here. But that is that. I also got this Louis Vuitton. Let me move some of this stuff because I've already put it up. Hold on one second. I also got this uh, Louis Vuitton, um, the Birth of Modern Luxury book. This book is super heavy. I'm trying to hold it with one hand. It's very thick. I haven't even opened it, haven't even taken the plastic off of it yet, but I did get this book, a coffee table book. I love coffee table books, and I'm actually going to read this book. So I'm going to place it back on my mantle with my Chanel uh, book and my old Louis Vuitton catalog. I'm going to put it back up here. And uh, yeah, so those are the things that I got so far for my birthday you saw my flowers you saw i went on a birthday trip so i'm sorry i can't find the footage from the actual unboxing i did a proper unboxing but i don't know what i did with it but anyway yeah those are the things that i got uh so far for my birthday and if you guys follow me on uh either tiktok or instagram you then you saw this unboxing um, on there, um, this is a gift that I got from my niece, Angel, and she sent to me for my birthday. It is uh, by Redo uh, Fragrance, and she got me the Gypsy Boy Fragrance. This smells so good. I love it. Um, and it's so funny because um, there's a girl on here who talks about the coastal grandmother, and this is like the quintessential coastal grandmother scent. <laughs> I said, you know, I am definitely a coastal grandmother, but I do love this fragrance.
Hey guys, I know it has been a moment and I'm just popping on here out of the blue. Here I am, y'all, I am battling some sort of summer, I mean spring, allergy, cold, something. So <clears throat> that's why I look the way I look. But anywho, I wanted to show you these towels that I got. So last year when I did my um, bathroom remodel, I got some towels, um, the waffle towels from Target um, because uh, I had seen previously that Monroe still talked about the waffle towels that she had. She was the first that I had seen with them. And so I was like, oh, I'm going to try those. So I found some at Target. She got hers from Parachute and uh, it's a little bit more expensive. So I went ahead and ordered me some from Parachute for comparison purposes, just to see if they are as good as um the walmart brand or if they are better or whatever but this is just um the little cards and things that came in the parachute packaging i love the bedding that they had well i love the way it look i may try some of that too <clears throat> but it says enjoy good comfort so i got this color this kind of a i don't know what this color is i'll put it on the screen but it's like a terracotta Kind of color but yeah so i these are the the towels i got one thing i can tell you they're a little bit more expensive of course but feel just right off the bat the field test is pretty much the same this is the hand towel the hand towel is uh seems to be much bigger than um the target towel let me get the target ones and i'll show you hold on for comparison purposes hold on so I keep my towels here. Let's just get a hand towel and a bath towel. I'll just get this one. So, now granted, uh, keep in mind, the parachute brand is right out of the packaging, has not been washed or anything, and I am going to wash them before I use them. So this is the hand towel. It's a pretty big hand towel. I'll put my hand on it so that you can see how big it is. All right, and this is the Target brand hand towel. Okay. So there you have that. <clears throat> so it's about as long, but not as wide, okay? So that's that. And um, I don't know if this will shrink. So we'll see. But that's those. And let me get a bath towel. So this is the bath towel. So this is the bath towel. Let's spread it out. And the target. Well, let's just see. So that's the bath towel. Okay. I'm going to spread the target towel over top of it. This one seems to be a little bit longer. So, so that's that it, the um okay, so the parachute brand is a little bit wider, and it seems that the target towel might be a little bit longer, just a little bit longer. So yeah inch and a half longer but again this has been washed several times and these are brand new so I'm going to throw these in the wash and I'll let you know if they shrunk and uh how I like them but yeah I thought I'd show share that do you guys like the waffle towels let me know um I, I just like they seem to be so absorbent um I, I really like them and they're stretchy they're soft 
I really like these. But okay, guys. Just wanted to show you that. Oh, yeah. This uh, flash that I have on this camera, it is so bright. It is super, super bright. And I know it's probably looking weird. I'm just going to turn it off. Oops. That didn't turn it off. Okay, yeah, that's better. But how y'all doing today? Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while since I've been on, since I've been posting regularly. Yeah, it's the end of the semester, and if you know how that goes, it's just a lot going on. But anywho, yes, my braces are out. If, if you uh, have been following me, you know I got braces about a year ago, and so my braces are off. I have my um, my clear retainers on because guys the retainer my permanent retainer it became detached and I got to go back and let them cement that back on that did not happen previously when I had my first set of braces and I got that permanent retainer that thing lasted until they popped it off when I went to get my second set of braces so about 20 years it never popped off <laughs> You know that old saying, they are not making anything like they used to. And that's what I believe. I've been sick with this sinus congestion, cold allergy situation. I'm doing better today, thank God. My sense of smell is coming back. No, I did not have C19. I tested. So, and another thing that, um, you know, that I knew it wasn't like some sort of infection like that is because the mucus and i know this is probably tmi but everything was clear it never had a color of any kind i don't know why this isn't showing up y'all hold on a sec okay i'm back but yeah um not c19 everything was good good with that and so i'm feeling better today um I'll show you what I've been doing over the last couple of days. I'm gonna actually be doing my hair. Uh, I want it to go at least to the summer without doing braids again. I have on a wig right now. This is my same wig from Christmas, but I'm gonna get ready to do braids. I'm gonna be doing braids probably this week. It is Sunday, April the 24th. So sometime this week, I'll be doing uh, braids again. So the husband and I are getting ready to go to, I guess, Lowe's. Um, we're going to look at some outdoor furniture, um, getting ready to finish getting the house together for spring. We kind of got a late start this year, but um, we're, we're going to start getting it together soon. So let me show you my OOTD. This is just a denim dress that I got from um, Free People. Let me show you in the mirror. Can you see? It's just a denim Thin denim I have on my uh, Alexander McQueen sandals um, and just my uh, dress. I got my Gucci crossbody, my OG favorite that I love, that I need to close this stuff. I probably need to get a bigger one, another one that uh, can hold a little bit more stuff, but I do love this dress, uh, this bag. This dress is kind of big, but it's really, really super comfy. I love it. So yeah, it's gonna be great for going, running around town. Okay, so yeah, what else can I tell you? Um, hmm, I think that's about it. Um, so just stay tuned if you wanna see what's been going on in my life. All right, guys.
things that excite me, the things that excite me have change. It's really amazing. It used to be like clothes and jewelry, which they still do, you know, stuff like that still does. But home stuff, those, oh my God, it is a dream. It is a dream. Oh, and by the way, my, my daughter and I have decided that I am a coastal grandmother. I'm the black version of a coastal grandmother. And that doesn't mean that I am a natural grandmother. I have grandkids. It just means that I'm a mother that's grand, honey, and I love coastal things. So, um, yeah. <laughs> my aesthetic. I have a coastal aesthetic for everything. But anyhow, yeah. Anybody else like that? Love the store. And y'all, I don't have a man. I promise you. Hey, Jay, I'm going in the garden center. Okay. Hey. All right, flowers is where I'm gonna go. That's what I'm gonna see.
guys I am just leaving oh, I don't know where to put this just leaving the gym Woo. got me a little workout today it was only cardio so I did the bike and the other four. about 40 45 minutes of cardio tomorrow I will do some strengthening and all of that so it's 8.30 a.m. It's a little later than it needs to be. I need to get out of here a little earlier than this, than I did today. So I will get out earlier tomorrow and uh, so that I can be home by 8. Sorry about that. Yeah, 7.45 is ideal. And I'm sorry the way this phone is sitting up here because I got to try to secure it. <laughs> So that it won't fall over. And then it gets all kinds of stuff. I'll probably make this wide so I can make it really tight. But anywho, I've got to go home and get my day started. I think I'm gonna do my hair today. I think I'm gonna try to do some braids today. I'll show you uh, later the type of braids that I think I wanna do. Think. We'll see. We'll see. I may hold off until after my anniversary. I don't know. We'll see. All right, y'all. See ya later. So after the workout, I came home and did part two of my self-care. Working out is part one. It's part two is coming home, um, letting my blinds and curtains up so that I can let the sun in, getting a good hot shower, doing my facial regimen, and topping it all off with my breakfast, um, a meal replacement shake. Every single day just is the same.
the orthodontist. I, I know I got my braces off about three weeks ago now, but I had to come here because my permanent retainer at the bottom got loose. And so they had to take it off and reattach it. And you know, I was uh, kind of, you know, I looked over my notes and the information, you know, discharge information they gave me. And it said that if my retainer comes off, I have to pay $125. And I was like, well, that's not fair. I shouldn't have to pay anything because it's not my fault. It just wasn't attached well, unfortunately. It always felt kind of weird, but I was like, oh, well, maybe it's gonna be okay. So uh, <laughs> it got loose on this side, but I came in, they fixed it. It wasn't a problem, but she wants me to go and try my retainers my nighttime retainers on to make sure that they are they're gonna fit because they have to be in the same you know that retainer needs to be in the exact same spot in order for you know it to fit so I hope that it does fit she says she thinks it should fit she tried to get it right back in the same spot but if not then I gotta get another retainer but they make those in-house uh, so I just have to come in and get mold. Sorry about that, Bluetooth. But uh, I'll, excuse me, I'll just have to um, come back and let them do another impression and remake that bottom tray. But they do that in-house, so. And he was like, look at your teeth. The uh, Dr. Chris was like, look at your teeth. They are beautiful. Why are you back here? <laughs> and I was like, oh, I just thought I'd come back and get braces again <laughs> but yeah I love my teeth they look great <sighs> but all right y'all so on my way home from the orthodontist I stopped by the garden store to get some flowers so that I can begin planting um and you know sprucing up the yard for the spring my grandbabies will be in this weekend and they can help me out It is another vlog. I don't know if this is the start of the vlog or the middle of the vlog. I don't know. It's Tuesday, April 26th, and I am headed uh, to work. Headed off to work. I have got to clear off this phone or either go ahead and hook up my GoPro mount, car mount, because my phone is full. I've used up all of the space because I need to, you know, clear off videos and pictures and things. And I'm gonna do that. But, you know, that that's kind of time consuming because I don't wanna just delete it. I actually wanna transfer it to my hard drive. And so some of the stuff is not in the cloud because I don't have any more cloud space. I've used up two terabytes of cloud space. So I do have other cloud, I have other clouds. I have like um, GoPro cloud space. I have my Google Drive and I also have Dropbox. So I have plenty of places to save the stuff. I need to just take the time to do it. So I'm gonna do it. Um, I'll probably get to some of it today. But anyway, how y'all doing? What's going on? How's life treating you? How has your spring started off? Um, it has been um, eventful. We've had, you know, stuff <laughs> happening as everyone probably has had stuff to happen because, you know, life. What do y'all think about, um, if you all are on Twitter, I, I don't, I'm not a Twitter person. I don't do a lot of stuff on Twitter. I may read some stuff on Twitter every now and again, but I understand that um, Elon Musk, you know, the Tesla guy, he's buying or wants to buy or has been approved to buy Twitter. And so a lot of, I've been hearing a little chatter about people are not exactly some people aren't thrilled about it. They feel like maybe it's just going to become a haven for disinformation. And to that I say, uh, people, be wise, okay? Be 
wise um, and be aware of your surroundings. Use good common sense, common judgment, um, and go from there. Make sure that you are doing what you need to do to, um, you know, take care of yourself and your family. But anyway, oh, and pray. Above all, pray. Y'all, I mean, there's no question about my faith on this channel. I am a believer, and I believe in praying. And so, that's that on that. That's, you know. <laughs> all right um yeah i am getting over the stuff that was going on in the sinus area my eyes are no longer itching my ears are no longer itching my nose is no longer itching and burning yeah that was miserable i can't remember the last time i felt that bad with allergy slash sinus infection i felt miserable for about a week I mean, low energy, my head was pounding. I thought I had a migraine. Eyes itching, burning, ears itching and burning, and nose itching and burning. I mean, that itching and burning was relentless. And that was just like, oh my God. And then it started, you know, draining into my throat. So I had a sore throat, started coughing a little bit. I did take the C19. I think I've told y'all that already. I did not have that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but I just felt really bad. And then my husband told me this morning that he was kind of feeling sick. And I said, that's usually how it is. Once one person gets over it, the other one gets it. I mean, we are in close proximity to each other. So, I hope he doesn't get too bad. I told him to try to get a, in in front of it, you know. So I've been I've been back on my Claritin. I've take, been taking that every day. So I'm not as nasally as I was. Just a little bit, just a little bit of residual nasal stuff going on, but not too bad. So yeah, been doing that. Uh, so I'm doing better with that. Thank God. What else has been going? on? Had a good uh, Easter. My little grandson um, got his got him a little Sonic. He loves Sonic, um, the Hedgehog. So I bought him a Sonic, and he got it. And I guess he expected it to be like a a uh, battery operated type of toy. He thought it was gonna run really fast, so he threw it, and he was like waiting for it to run. <laughs> But it didn't, so he realized, oh, this is not one of those toys. So he just, you know, started playing with it. And he was with Sonic that entire day. His mommy bought him this uh, really neat, it was really cool, um, little dinosaur tent thing. He loves dinosaurs and it has lights and sensory items. It is amazing. It was, it was just an amazing um gift and he loved it he spent time in there he took his nap in there he loved that so that was really really good kudos to you mommy you did a good job with that but um yeah so easter was good my other grand um babies are gonna come um this weekend and we'll get to spend a day or two with them which is gonna be fun so i gotta plan something i think i want to do for Saturday morning a brunch since they aren't gonna be in town that long I don't want to um, you know spend a lot of time trying to go somewhere and plan some so we'll just do it at the house so I think what I'm gonna do is a little brunch for Saturday I think I'll yeah let me get my planning cap on you know and in the previous video dr. Jack has been a florist so this week, I think Dr. Jack's going to be a party planner. <laughs> yep, okay. So, I am arriving at my place of play. And so, I'm going to get off of here for now and get back on a little bit later on. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll chat with you soon. 
so hush deal. I'm trying to record, darling. So I this is another um, one of my birthday gifts that just came in. So I wanted to show you what I got. It's some Joe Malone products. Um, so I'm going to try to set my camera up. Yeah, I don't have it on a tripod. <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to sit it here. Uh, hold on. Let me set it up. So my son and his girlfriend got me a gift card to Nordstrom. And so this is what I chose. I chose the Jo Malone English Pear and Freesia Scented Candle and the Jo Malone Peony and Blush Suede Cologne. They both smell amazing. Good morning, y'all. How y'all doing? It's April 27th. Welcome back to another, another blog or if you've already been in this vlog, this is, what is this, Wednesday? So it's probably the middle of a vlog. But anyway, welcome back. How y'all doing? <clears throat> I'm just leaving the gym. <sighs> Got me a quick little cardio workout in. Yesterday I did um, legs, strengthening and toning and stuff like that. I did that yesterday. And I actually did it at home. I did my old workouts that I did last year to strengthen my legs and plus I did some of the exercises that I learned from physical therapy so yeah I'm trying to get my life together yeah I'm trying to get it together I'm going to actually contact the gym because they have like a group uh, like a weight loss group that you can like join and um, so I'm going to See about joining them. See if I can uh, get on track with a little help, a little trainer, and everything. So, but until then, I'm gonna keep, you know, doing what I've been doing, working out, and trying to eat right, and all of that. So now I am headed home. I gotta quickly get a shower and get dressed for work. It is nine o'clock and I gotta be at work for 10. So it's gonna be a quickie. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'll holler at you in a little bit. Yeah. Hey, y'all. Uh, let me get in my garage so you can see. Y'all, I'm dressed and I'm headed to work this morning. So, yes, uh, got in, got dressed. I didn't put on any makeup. I just did my, oh, sorry about that. I just did my brows uh, and my skin regimen. I put on my, you know, washed my face and did my moisturizers. Put on a little lip balm. It has a pink tint in it. The Tom Ford uh, lip balm blush, and I put some mascara. Put on some mascara and a little under eye concealer, and that's it. I didn't put on any foundation. I didn't put on any tinted moisturizer or anything. I took my blush brush, and I just whatever was left over on it, I just dabbed it on my cheeks and put a little. Um, uh, highlight on my nose and that's it. I didn't contour anything, no mess, no foundation, no nothing. And uh, so I think me, uh, you know, really being conscientious about my skin is paying off. It is paying off. Um, yeah, I like it. So that's that on that. Headed to the office, same old grind. But it's all good, you know. It's the end of the semester. Today is the last day of classes. I wore my university shirt. Um, so I can, you know, help the kids get across the finish line. Finals are next week. But for my students, their final um, projects and final papers and things are due either, they're due this week. So that I can, they don't have to worry about anything next week um, but getting their final grades. And then we're done. 
So I hope that you all are having a good day. I hope everything is working in your favor. Uh, yeah. I'm going to show you this book that I got. I picked it up from Five Below. You know, they have some really good little books and journals and things there. It's a little paperback book about calming your anxiety. And it's a journal with great, it has some really nice artwork in it and um, prompts and quotes and things like that. It's really good. It's really a good book. So I may use that this summer with some of my clients when I'm doing my counseling. I'm going to become uh, doing my internship this summer. So um, I'll use it with them. I think it'll be a good thing to do. Yeah, so I think I'm going to start braiding it either this evening or tomorrow. So I'm going to do some braids with human hair. And I'm going to wrap them with human hair to, to do like the butterfly locks, the faux locks. But they're going to be all, it's going to be done with human hair. So I'm going to, I have an idea in my mind about how I want to achieve the look in my mind. I think it's achievable, but I'm not real sure. <laughs> so I'm going to let you guys see it. Um, if it turns out good, wonderful. If it doesn't, I'm going to be stuck. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm going to be stuck a few days with ugly style. And as a matter of fact, if I'm going, as I'm doing the style, if it's not turning out like I want it to turn out, I'll probably stop. But I really feel like it will. I, I just feel like it will. I, I, I feel like it's going to be okay. And I'm not going to do super small because I don't want to have a whole bunch of locks. But I'm not going to do big either. They won't be jumbo. They're going to be um, kind of medium size. <laughs> And I don't know if I want to do them super long. I may want to do them about as long as this wig. So this is where this wig stops. So I may do them about that long. I don't know. Yeah, is it is it this that's making it look bad? No, I don't know what's... It's a glare where the phone is. I'm sorry. That's better. But then I'd have to hold. I need to put my car mount in here for my GoPro. This makes no sense. <laughs> but anyway, you all, y'all take care. I'm gonna chat back in with you a little bit later. So this is the style I was gonna try to recreate with uh, my human hair. Um, this is a video by Winnie Jean. Go to her um, YouTube page and look at this video if you are interested it turned out really pretty on her and so i thought maybe i'd try my hand at doing it i already know how to do um box braids knotless braids and i also know how to do the faux locks so i was going to try to do it all with human hair she did this style with nothing but human hair so i'm getting ready to do some human hair locks or i'm going to attempt my hand at doing some boho locks with human hair and so these I'm going to show you the types of hair that I bought to try to achieve the look that I'm going for so for the actual box braid um, that I'm going to start with and to give it that curly um, boho feel and you know the pieces that are going to be left out that are curly I bought several types of hair to see which might work so for the box braids, I got this Ibiza, and I hope it's not a glare. I got this Ibiza uh, hair. Um, I bought, uh, it's in Deep Wave, it's bulk, and I bought some more bulk hair in the, um, from Amazon, and it's also supposed to be a Deep Wave. I thought it was the Ibiza, but clearly it wasn't because it came in this box. Let me, let me get to a better lighting for you. All right, so for the hair um, that I'm gonna be using to make the box braids, I bought four different, uh, well, three different, well, four different types of hair because I wasn't sure which one was gonna work. So I got this Ibiza hair. I think I ordered it from Sam's Beauty. It's in a deep wave, 100% human bulk hair. As you can see, it's not wefted. This is the type of hair I used to use when I did micro braids back in the early 2000s 
Um, so yeah, so that's that are in the 90s, late 90s, early 2000s. Um, so I got that from Sam's Beauty. It be some 100% natural virgin hair. I also ordered this hair, both of these from Amazon, and it came in this packaging. I'm not sure of the vendor, but I will, um, I will uh, provide you with a link in the description box of the vendor. I don't know how this hair is going to work. Actually, I don't know how any of it's going to work. So just going to keep my fingers crossed. Um, but these are supposed to be 24 inch human hair, uh, deep wave. And just to be on the safe side, just in case neither of those work, I went by my local beauty supply store. Dylan! I went by my local beauty supply store and they had the Ultra Premium Purple Pack 100% human hair, deep wave, 22 inches. Um, and so this is wefted hair. Let me pull it out of the, the packaging. That's what this hair looks like. I can tell right away, this hair is the softest. This is probably number two. This is a little stiff and the curls are kind of, you know, looking stiff. And that's probably because of the color treating. And then this just feels hard and crispy. So I don't know about that. But anywho, that's this hair. And as you can see, it's wefted, meaning that it is actually on a weft. I'm just gonna tear this. So it's on a weft right here. You can see that it's on a weft. And then to wrap the braid to give it the uh, lock look, I'm gonna use this um, Persian, Viso Persian 100% human hair in the jer jerry curl and I got it in the color 1B and I only got one pack because I have some other human hair in the jerry curl that I may try also so I'm going to see how this works oh, can't get it out the packaging but this is what this looks like so I'm going to use this to wrap it because I used uh, G spring curl or jerry curl previously to do the wrapping. So we'll see how that looks, but I have some more hair that may also work. But this is what I got. We're gonna see if I can do the human hair, um, boho or butterfly locks or whatever. I don't know what they're called actually, but we're just gonna do it, okay? <laughs> All right. Hey guys, my name is Savannah and I love videos and pictures. Drip? Hey guys, this is my friend Drip and, and we're at Baby's house right now and mom and daddy left. So, peace out. My grandbabies are so nervous at the on uh, their visit. We have a brunch on that Saturday morning, so I made, you know, shrimp and grits. As my kids say, I made their favorite trip and grits. We had croissants and toast and waffles and bacon and sausage and just good times had by all. It was so good to um, have them visiting for a while, even if it was only just a couple of days. We had a great time and they enjoyed it. And while they were here, they wanted to come out and help them do some gardening and planting. Um, some of my
like I thought I was going to do. I just left it at the box, the boho box braids, and I love them. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching my video today. I really, really appreciate you guys. Before you go, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I would certainly appreciate it if you did. Come back next week for another vlog. Take care, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.